name is Jess. Thank you for joining me today. I'm going to have a haul over two thrift stores that I have recently went to. I am a reseller. If this is your first time joining me, I sell on eBay, Poshmark, and Mercari. I, okay, so I try to shop at the bins, but I can't get away much at the moment because I have a little one at home. And, uh, so I'm paying a little bit more for my items than I like to. I like to only pay maybe a dollar, but I've been watching a lot of YouTube videos recently and you need to pay up so you can raise your average sale price, which I'm, I'm doing at the moment. So it's working. I just, I don't like, I'm super cheap. So I don't like spending money. Let's get started. The first place I only found like five or six items because Due to minimum wage rising in Illinois, they have raised the prices, sadly, and it used to be like my honey hole. Okay. This brought back memories from my childhood. I am born in the 80s. So the Looney Tunes were huge when I was growing up. I, I was a big fan of Space Jams. It's about the mall. It's a huge jumbo mug. Like, look at this. If you like your coffee, this is for you. It's from 1995. This I thought was hilarious. It's like a gag gift. Well, it's a cake topper by Wilton. Oh, look at that. Oh, it's not going to focus on it. I don't know if you can see it, but the golfer is blowing the golf ball into the uh, hole. And I paid, I think I paid $2 for that. I would try to sell it for $20. Um, this cup, for shipping, I would probably only put it on Poshmark and list it for like $20. Okay, I love selling discontinued beauty products. Here's some for example. I haven't even opened the bag yet. I paid, how much did I pay for these? I paid $4. But like this one right here is Sarah Michaels Body Wash and I saw this selling for like 15. There's some philosophy um, ones in here. These old bath soaps are discontinued. I think it's all discontinued. Except for there's a Madison Reed. You know, the um, at-home coloring, hair coloring system. I'll probably just keep that conditioner for myself because those aren't really worth anything. But overall, like, I'm guessing I'll probably make $50 off of this. I got these um, Mizuno uh, volleyball knee pads. They're super popular. They were half off, so I paid $2. If they're not worth much, I'll just give them my niece because she's actually currently playing volleyball. <clears throat> okay, so if you're wanting a a great channel to follow. They make like $2,000 a week. Uh, Katie and Vicki. I'm pretty sure that's, I can't remember the name of their channel. Um, I'll link it down below. But a few weeks ago, one of them had told me about waffle knit vintage blankets with a satin trim. So I kept in my mind because I love selling linens. And what do you know? I found one for $5. And this exact one recently sold for 50 on eBay. Okay. Now, some of you are on the fence with selling um, Hudson at the moment. Made in USA. But I sold these probably six months ago for about $45. These are in, like, new condition. I think the others were a little worn. And I paid $5. Okay. I went to a, another thrift store yesterday. I used to work there before I had my second kid. These were half off. I love selling Crocs as long as they're in clean, like new condition. They were half off, so I paid $4 for them. They're um, all rubber and they have a suede buckle. I'm not going to worry about the size at the moment. Okay, they're size 7. I'm guessing I can sell these for $25 or $30 plus shipping. I never include shipping. Uh, or offer free shipping. I tried it before. Didn't quite work for me. Works for some, but not me. All right. As I was leaving, this is like a 1990s ceramic Mother Goose um, lamp. Still in the box. It's by Kids Light. It's about 10 inches tall. Super cute. I paid $4 for it. I, I like it. I'll probably put on Poshmark because shipping will be so cheap. I'm hoping to get uh, 25 or 30 I normally don't, I try not to pick up the smaller end items, but this was too cute. If she had some pink, uh, like a pink ribbon on, 
I would probably keep it. And it is called Desmond the Duck. So I'll have to look this up and see who Desmond is. Whoops. Sorry, I just turned off my ring light. It's a gloomy day here in Illinois. Oh, I think I unplugged it. Okay. There we go. We have power now. Woo! Now I'm all fancy. <laughs> okay. Actually, I'm not fancy. I, uh, haven't done my hair or my makeup today. Here's a vintage belt I got. I paid $3 for it. It is, ooh, it's leather. It's made in USA. I really wish I could read the, um, I'll show you and see if it shows better on camera. Um, I really wish I could read it as far as the brand. I can't. But this is awesome. It's kind of heavy. It's metal. For a small waist, like a small waist. I would say like a size four. I got this because it's a dollar. It was on sale for a dollar, and if it wasn't worth anything, I would have just kept it for my little baby. It's by Lolita. I'll show you the tag. Oh, Lolly Living. Their stuff, their um, new stuff does pretty well online. And at first I thought it was a comforter, but there is a slit at the top here. It's not a curtain because it's like blanket material, so you could use it as a comforter, but I think it's actually a tapestry mm -hmm. on a wall. It is super cute. So there's one side. It's got like a giraffe and an elephant, and then it's got like this elephant bird floral print. It looks very well made. I thought it might have been Pottery Barn. It was taped up so I couldn't look at it after I purchased it. So it was a dollar. So this is an item I paid the most for. Um, it was, I believe, let me check, I think I paid $10 for this vintage, like, corduroy coat. Yeah, I paid $10.69. It is by Weatherpal Outdoors. I did check comps. They range between 50 to, like, 80 but those weren't as cool as this one in my opinion there's the buttons it's um like faux fur it's really neat however i just noticed there are belt loops and i don't have a belt that's not good because also it is missing one of the it is missing one of the buttons i do have a big box of buttons so I can find one similar but it might be worth it for me to pay two dollars and go buy one that's almost identical at the local craft store we'll have to wait and see but um and it's the end of the season so I might have to wait till next year before it sells but I do list seasonal items all year long I don't care because they sell also I recently found a new channel I will link below I haven't really had much luck with menswear because I've been just trying to sell tops and, you know, they don't flip for, like, maybe $20. So, I think his name's Rick, and he's from Florida. I'll link it below. And he sells a lot of men's, like, higher-end items as far as he flips it for, like, $65 shipped. So, I'm looking for a higher average sale price. So, I have been watching him. Yesterday, I went to the men's suit aisle and what do you know I found a Giorgio Armani suit and a black label Hugo Boss um, blazer so I will show you those items okay so it's kind of hard to hold up so I'm just going to show you the label mainly uh, it's made in Italy I paid whew, I paid $12 for this okay so this is my highest dollar one it's like a a dark blue it might look black on camera it's like a textured Swiss dot and just the blazers of Giorgio Armani online don't flip for maybe like $30 but I have the suit and I'm trying to find the content this is from Bloomingdale's okay well anyways I don't know the material content but I have the suit and I believe they were selling for like maybe a hundred. Yeah, a hundred. And then here's the Hugo Boss. This one feels nice. It feels like um, it's pretty lightweight. And there's not much structure to it. 
looks like it's yeah I don't know but anyways here's the label it's pretty light I'm guessing like maybe a, a silk silk yeah I'm guessing silk okay um this I got for myself just because it was like it's like flannel material it is LuLaRoe which you know I can still flip for a little bit like if I get it at the bins but unless this new tag I'd probably pass but check out the colors this would have been great for fall but um you know, people not them because it's long. And I did pay six dollars, but like I said, I'm gonna keep that for myself. Okay, so I follow on Instagram. I think her name is Thrift to Travel. She goes around the country and gets discontinued uh, products like health and beauty, mainly or cleaning supplies, pretty much anything. And I think it was on her Instagram that I recently learned of this discontinued <laughs> douche. <laughs> yeah, it's. Uh, the scent, Country Flowers. I saw this and I thought, no way did I make this up. So I did scan the code on eBay. And yes, they I have two. They were a dollar a piece. And I believe I could get 50 for this. The issue is, is I do not see an expiration date anywhere on the box. And on the back, it's copyrighted for 1996, which concerns me a little bit. But everything is still sealed in plastic and it doesn't look old. So I'll have to do some research to see if they just have old, like, marketing. I don't know. But yeah, I paid $2 for that. I'm, I only have a few more items. I'm trying to be a little quicker just because I ramble. And when I watch people that ramble, I'm like, eh, you're boring. <laughs> okay. Um, I usually pick up vintage kids items, but... Levi's is like really trending right now and this is a little girl's and it's star print it's like denim chambray it's a size five small but it's new with tags and that is key new with tags I paid and it was half off so I paid like 275 for this and I would be happy with like 25 else do we have oh I love quality like, not quality but I love thick black leggings just because you know I'm from Illinois and it's still pretty cold here uh, and these were half off but for myself they're not to resale oh and those are the pants I did buy jewelry and it never made it home with me so I'll have to check my receipt and see if I got charged for that Hmm. Oh, one thing that I'm not showing in the video is a stack of Yogi-Oh cards, like trading card, playing cards. I'm not sure. Um, my husband used to play Magic the Gathering, like, huge nerd. Uh, he had spent, you know, hundreds and hundreds on these cards, and he doesn't really have a desire to play that game anymore. So he has been selling them to Card Kingdom, and we've made probably close to a thousand dollars by now so it's like a hobby of his he likes to buy cards and scan them on his app it's really quick and um, send them in so I found these Yogi Yo cards and he was looking them up and so I need to find out where I can send them into because Card Kingdom does not accept them but they apparently if they are in mint condition I can get eighty dollars for them and I spent five dollars on the whole deck but they are in played condition but I would still be happy with forty dollars because that was a decent flip so, anyways, comment below if you know of a company that I can send my Yogi Yo cards to and just like sell them because I don't want to sell them individually on eBay. Just so I forgot about this guy. I always look at bobbleheads because sometimes they are worth money, and in this case, I was right. It's leather face, no idea. I do not have the box, but. New Line Cinema. I'm guessing it's a movie. I paid five dollars for it, and these flip for fifty to a hundred. I'll be happy with fifty. There are a few minor chips on the back of the head. Ooh, and there's kind of a big ding back here. Okay, so I'm gonna say forty. But anyways, five dollars to forty. I'll be happy with. 
Thank you everybody for watching my video and sticking around. Don't forget to hit the bell down below to be notified when I post new content, which I will try to do weekly, if not more often. I do appreciate all of you. If you're not following, please hit the subscribe button down below. Give me a thumbs up. Go ahead and leave some comments if you have any questions or what you thought. I appreciate anything. Thank you. Have a great day.